All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Just checking to see if I'm live yet, but I don't see OBS says I am. <clears throat> Let's just double check on the phone. Oh, hey, as I am. Here we go. Let's just leave this then. And I care about that. Okay. Mm. All right, it's a couple of minutes early. Yeah. Okay. Let me see how the balance is. This, oops. This last time the balance was pretty decent, but it was really quiet. So, <clears throat> before I get started with checking out the plugin, we'll just hear how loud it is. Seems better. All right. Yes. I think it's pretty good. We'll stick with it for now. Then I'm just going to reference the volume of a different video. Just to be sure. Uh, still might be a little quiet, I guess. That was much louder. Okay, I guess it might still be a little quiet. Let me see here. I'll go to the Wavelink software. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me turn the gain up a little bit there. Um, I think the guitar level is good. That might crank that a little bit. A little more. Okay. Because there I'm getting into the red a little bit, which I don't really want to be... I mean, I think that that's working all right. Let's see. Double check here. Check, check. Okay. We'll stick with that. All right. Don't want to monitor myself the whole time because then you get that little echo. Um, <clears throat> okay, so still, still new to um, to streaming, so that's why I need to check stuff up because I don't have my setup quite um, quite perfect yet. I'm trying to get everything to sound and work nice, but anyways, let's jump in. Um, Finally, checking out the um, Petrucci plugin. So this is just the default sound, which sounds awesome already. Uh, 
I'd have to say out of the um, archetype packs that I have demo this is definitely the best default sound um you get something really good right off the bat that's cool okay so some of the main <clears throat> let's just take a look at it first so let's start down here at the settings this stuff is all normal your normal audio connections you got the midi which i don't have any midi stuff so we don't need to check that tuner let's use that real quick that was really one of the super nice okay i'll mute it it's one of the super nice uh additions that they added was the tuner built into the app okay then we've got this metronome super cool Something nice for practicing. Uh, let's just hear it. You can change the sound. I really like that. Cowbell. We always need more cowbell. Oh, that's cool. So you can have an accent note. So, you know, one one you can change it to a different accent you can have it the same um, and then you can have it off so you can do some really good rhythm training with a lot of that stuff <clears throat> what is on digital that's not a bad sound i'm really picky when it comes to the click sounds because it's it can be just the worst and really hard to practice sometimes if if the click is for me if the click is too soft um you can't really tell where the definition of the beat is <clears throat> that, gets, that gets really difficult to actually play in time so it doesn't make for good practice but all of these sounds so far are really good so we got kick drum snare and then nothing so we can Do that, just a nice. This is always a fun, a fun option to have. I think definitely worth it. I was actually kind of like the digital sound. What are the other options? Then the same. I kind of like that because um, that's a very common common sort of click sound but nice it's a good good metronome tap tempo down there <clears throat> as well you can pan it to one side if you needed to very cool um cool so going through got your same archetype um layout with your input and the gate this transpose i'm excited to check out um input mode it can be stereo got the doubler um have to hear what that sounds like on and off all the parameters there saving and searching and getting the different plugins, which we'll check out, and then output. Let's see here. So this is, is this the wah? Yes, nice. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, that sounds good.
Very nice. Okay. So you got the wah and compressor. Then we have our other effects. Um, <clears throat> the, excuse me, overdrive, phaser, which is super cool. Like, I think my favorite additions to, to have in this whole thing, I've got the flanger and phaser, which are two new things um, that the other ones, at least to my recollection, didn't have. Um, at least the ones that I have. I currently have the uh, archetype Nolly and Corey Wong, which just added a chorus to it, which is, is a fine chorus, you know. Nothing too crazy, which I don't like crazy choruses to begin with anyways, so. <clears throat> okay, Let's keep going through your amp selections, speaker selections, and again, this is just where this thing gets crazy with like room mics you can add in and all this stuff. Um, different mic selections from the last... <clears throat> in comparison to um, the other the other archetype plugins, which I think is awesome. It's just you get to check out something new. I mean, surprisingly, there's no just SM57 clone. The EQ is different, which I don't know if I'll like at the moment, because I really like graphic EQs because they're just easy to visualize. But this might end up being better for actually dialing in a good EQ because you're relying less on the visual and more on, <clears throat> on what you're hearing, which is really the best end result that you can have. Ah, there we go, volume pedal. <laughs> ah, super cool. Responds pretty well to the volume knob, too. Cool. <clears throat> okay, and then our timed effects, which we have another chorus in the timed effect area, which makes sense because... Um, choruses you generally would want to have after the amp in an effects loop. Um, I just like the look of this. It looks so good. Little rack units. <clears throat> okay. So let's go through and let's see... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot. Ooh, sorry. <clears throat> that is a lot of artists. Um, oof. Okay, let's see. We got Factory, then Pritchurchy. Okay, let's jump in with the Petrucci plugins, because that other, I mean, goodness, so many artists, but man, super cool. Got, um, didn't know who they were until they were um, just opening for Dream Theater on this most recent tour that's about to start. Pretty cool that he's included in that. Um, Architects, you got Nolly has some. Very cool. Corey Wong has some. Um... Man. Ooh, Fate's Warning. That's cool. Them and Dream Theater go way back. Jack Gardner. Gardner. Might just be Gardner. I think that I is just messing me up. Um, well, Kiko. You got sounds from his own tech, which is super cool. Mateus Asado's got some. Ooh, nice. Pierre Nielsen. Pliny. Rabia. Very cool. 
<clears throat> his wife. <laughs> Tim Henson, then Tom Coyle. Very cool. Nice. You got all the factory ones. Okay, we're going to start with Perchucci. All right, as I am. And it's using the transpose. Really cool. Okay, so transpose is a little tough when you can hear your guitar acoustically, which I knew was going to be the case. Sounds pretty darn good. I mean, <clears throat> I have the Digitech drop pedal, and you know that's a nice, a nice pedal that I used in, in cover bands for transposing keys without needing to totally tune my guitar. And you can see here, I've got my JP because we need to have that when we're going through this. And you know, don't want to tune this thing all the time because floating bridges and tuning are. A nightmare. <clears throat> let me um. Let me set up this other. <clears throat> excuse me. Let me set up this other camera. So you can get my. Get my fretboard in. Into the shot. <clears throat> Droid cam. Let's add that on. Yes. There we are. Then I need to do that. You can see my unkempt beard today. <gasps> All right. Oh. Here. Oh, plug this in because I don't want my phone to die. Okay. <clears throat> Um, let's see if putting it up here works. What? It does work, but man, in the way. Yeah. Awkward. Okay. <laughs> Try to get that. The setup and not a super awkward way. Let's see. I'm gonna switch it. <clears throat> Wasn't sure if I wanted to set this up, but I guess I do. So you'll get a watch. Um just using droid cam, as you can see with that watermark, because the watermark doesn't really annoy me. And, uh, how can I flip it? Because it only lets me do, well, that's annoying. I guess I gotta go back the other way. Yep. Never mind. This way. Oh, I want to zoom in further. Good. Okay.
Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna make this tinier. Bring it over here. And let's do like that for now. And then you just take this and throw. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> that didn't help. <clears throat> no. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's go like that. Okay. Super nice. Weird hearing the, the uh, guitar acoustically with it though. Um, but yep, that sounds just like it. Awaken the Master. Well, that one's not using it so far. I thought it might, you know, try to make your six string sound like an eight string. <laughs> Be kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> I haven't learned anything from Awaken the Master, so I don't know how to play that riff. Um, Barstool Warrior. Let's see. I don't even know how to play this one, but I remember it because this song is awesome. Nice. Uh, great, <clears throat> great example of how how he uses. It's got to be coursing on there, right? Yep. Okay. So those three little dots tell me it's on. You just got a nice little bit of chorus. Nice, like that one. Um, beneath the surface. So is this gonna be? Yeah, piezo. Let's go. Let's check it out. I am not plugged into my piezo, so let's do it. Oop. I think the battery might be might be dead on it. Oh, it's just it's a little quieter. Check here.
Nice. <clears throat> like that we'll definitely be checking out the um acoustic amp more Ooh, classical kiss preset ah. Played that riff in a long time. Um, nice. It's just crazy the nuances between the tone of a song because it sounds just just like the, <laughs> the tone of an album. Next preset, our new world. This might have some flanger on it. No, <clears throat> definitely chorus. Also, just a really nice rhythm tone. Oh, that's why it sounds. Because the doubler is a lot more spread on that, so doubler adds a bit of like a chorusy sound. Also, Peruvian skies. Ah, dang it! How did that riff go? Mm. 
So this got to have the phaser on. Yeah. Man, it's a nice lush sound. Oh, so good. So one reason that <clears throat> I really like to try out new plugins like this is because you, and especially presets, I like to go through presets. Um, because it's, it's kind of the same thing as like, uh, you know, when you're learning songs, you're learning technique and you're learning different approaches to writing and stuff like that. And so when you're checking out new presets for stuff, you're getting an idea of how someone else uses a tool that you have on guitar. And in this case, lots of effects or amps, how they would use in this, I mean, in this case, you can get down to like the microphones and the speakers, um, how much room you could add in, you know, to a preset, like really going into each one of these presets and seeing how each effect used is dialed in. And so in this case, um, this has the phase, which I like hardly use phase. Um, I don't know, I just haven't had very many examples of, of how I would use it and not just want a similar sound from like chorusing or possibly flanging, because I also don't use flanging a ton. Because I think out of, the, out of the three that we can see here, um, uh, phaser, chorus, and flanger, chorus is by far the one that I've used the most. And I, you know, kind of almost neglected the texture that gets added from a phaser and then also a flanger. Um, but this is like really nice. like it a lot. Cause like I would think that that rate would be too much and I wouldn't like it, but it's actually pretty nice. You know, it's almost halfway. I mean, what if I slowed the rate down a little bit to what I think I would like. It's still nice, but actually I think that that could be an approach that I've been taking wrong with uh, Phaser, is that I actually want more of a quicker... Um, <clears throat> a quicker rate through that. Very nice. Nice. And this is just such a good reason to go through plugins like this. Okay. I imagine. No, okay. Yeah, we've got. And it doesn't have a vibe on there? As I would have sworn, I would have had like the vibe effect on the phaser going. What if we add the vibe in there?
Nice. Temple of Circadia. <laughs> I mean, that's just a great crunch tone right there. Um, terminal velocity, I'm gonna guess again in the beginning. Also didn't learn this song. Tuscany. I mean, that's what I imagine we're trying to do. Need some. Very nice. Definitely makes me want to get a um, MIDI expression pedal real bad. Okay, let's just try to do transpose. If we go down seven, that should get us to... That's cool. Oh, I'm gonna be using that transpose so much. Um, so I have a seven string right, right there. But I really like to write on on six strings. Um, in fact, this the song, um, the song criteria that I wrote. I wrote a lot of that on a six string knowing that it would be you know a string set lower in actuality um because i did a lot of that writing you know waiting for waiting for students um at the store i worked at or because uh, they didn't show up so it's like oh i guess i got the next 40 minutes to continue writing <laughs> And I mean, I could use this a ton because I'm just more comfortable writing on a six string. Um, 
and then can transfer it over to a seven string. Um, cause my preference is definitely to, you know, compose something, play it the way that it was recorded. Um, I have, I have places where improvisation is in there and I still think improv is a really cool skill to know and have and definitely work on that. You know, cause if you don't have the improv then some of the stuff that I'm doing right now, you just wouldn't be able to do. I would just be playing riffs from other songs. Um, but man, oh, that, sounds, that sounds so good. And so for that, so that's dropping seven semitones, which would get me from E standard to B standard. So now this is a B. Um, that one doesn't sound too bad with the, you know, hearing my guitar acoustically because I'm monitoring through my studio monitors and I don't have it super loud. Gets a little worse when you get to the high end. Like, I don't know if you guys are able to hear that through the mic. Everything just sounds like a perfect fourth. Um, well, let's see, how many more do you need to go? One, two, three, four, five. Is that be an F sharp? Maybe that would be an E, right? So maybe that was A? Oh, yeah, no, seven would have been A, so this would be... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I had that wrong. I was thinking of the reverse. So this would be B. Um, so if you like minus 10, we've got eight strings standard. <laughs> So obviously the one thing that the the transpose can't do very well, at least from what I'm hearing right now, is a lot of the percussive elements. Like that sounds super, super digital. We're asking it to do a lot to be down 10 semitones. But it's still really, I mean, such a good writing tool. And the nice thing is that, you know, other than the percussive elements, which adds a lot to the playing, you know, if you can't... If you can't add that percussive stuff, then if you're doing anything like gent, then it's just super boring. Um, and so that's a little rough, but I don't think anybody's expecting that you record a finished product using that transpose. But super fun writing tool, you know. So then I can get an idea of how something would sound on an eight string with a six string guitar and be at the right tensions because it's like oh i could just tune down you know take my take my seven string and drop it down but then the tensions aren't right and so it doesn't sound as close as it could because because of that tension the strings are going to sound super floppy and the riff is just not going to sound sound super good but in this case you're gonna make it sound really cool. Nice. So this, the song that this preset's set to, um, it's one of Liquid Tension songs. The, the riff that it had, 
Man, I can't. Uh... Some some kind of like that. That is um, a huge inspiration onto a riff that <clears throat> that I wrote for um, this one. Disqualification is what I called it. I think it's it's one that I need to get around to, and I think I'm gonna do a stream um, relearning it because I need to relearn it. Um, I wrote it for the songwriting contest, uh, the Gear God songwriting contest, um, and there's a, a riff halfway through. Let's see if I can remember it. Um, Yeah, there we go. Um, Cause I just really like that. Yeah. Like moving the major, major third shapes down. So I just moved it to a place where you couldn't tell that that was kind of the main song that I was uh, ripping off and that's exactly how you should write riffs um you know use the inspiration from other stuff and then just try to make it as original as you can knowing like what that's kind of the main source there you guys it's the same Uses that uses that same motion. Very nice. Okay. Went through the Petrucci plugins. Let's go through the factory. And I think those are the plugins that will um, go through on the stream. Basic clean needs split pickups. Oh, it's quiet. Is it so quiet? Or is it just quiet? Okay. <laughs> Some of the cleans are, I think, a little hard to uh, transfer over the stream at the moment. Let me check my tuning real quick. Some trouble. Here we go. It's always the G string, right? Okay. Turn these up because I cannot hear them very well. Ooh, that's nice.
This is an appropriate name for this plugin. This is a brutal crunch. <laughs> Whoa. <coughs> I always forget you can use those little arrows <laughs> to go to the next one. So let's just go to it. I just want to make sure that that, yep, okay. Classic rhythm A. <laughs> That's a rhythm. B. that one a little bit better more low end Which one has shimmer? Oh, nice. Wait. What's adding that shimmer then? Gosh, I just have the Man, what's adding the shimmer? Because the chorus. The chorus is on. Oh no, the reverb's on. But the shimmer's off. Oh, where, where's that shimmer coming from? Nope, that chorus isn't on. Oh, maybe it's like the far mic. No. Huh. Let's turn off. Sounds super nice. Sounds so good. Is that just the reverb? Something's doing... Something's doing something cool. Oh, it's one of these guys. It's this... This setting. That's why it's called Crystal Something.
Super cool. Tape. 